another video. Thank you so much for clicking on this link. If you haven't guessed already, today's topic of hand is bike commuting. Yes, bike commuting. Now, I know for a lot of people, bike commuting can seem like sort of this like unaccessible, ethereal, hard, difficult thing, right? If you're used to using your car to get everywhere, suddenly when you throw bikes into the mix, it's like, whoa. I personally have found that while it takes a little bit of effort to start bike commuting, once you do, the benefits and the rewards and just the like, mmm, of it is so worth any just like little hump that you gotta get over. So my hope is that in this video, I can get you jazzed up, give you 10 reasons, count them all, 10 reasons why you should try bike commuting. Now there's lots of different shapes and sizes of people out there, there's lots of different abilities, and there's definitely ways to modify any sort of bike commuting or bike just recreation for ways that might fit with you and might fit with your lifestyle and your body's abilities because we're not all the same. So strap on your invisible helmets and uh, sit down and get ready to see my top 10 reasons why I think bike commuting is freaking amazing and you should give it a try. Ready? Here we go. Cha-ching! Money, money, money. Must be funny in a rich man's world. Well, uh, actually it's kind of funny in a bike commuter's world <laughs> because you will save tons of it by switching to bike commuting. Now if you think about your car, it's pretty cool, right? It takes you from point A to point B. Pretty fit. Oh, wait, gas. Oh, God, I have to pay for parking. Oh, wait, what about insurance? And oh, don't even get me started on service charges for a car. Yikes! Bike commuters, on the other hand, can enjoy free parking year-round, cheap repairs, and no messy paperwork or annual fees. This clean burning machine runs off a of tasty food alone. Reason number two, physical strength. Now, I'm not saying that you're gonna become the Hulk by switching to bike commuting, but uh, you might. Bike commuting is an amazing workout, or it can be if you want it to. It's low impact, it gets your lungs and blood pumping through your body, it makes you feel great, and honestly keeps you energized. You might think at the end of a long day of sitting at a desk, the last thing you wanna do is hop on a bike. But if you are someone that has a desk job, there is nothing like hopping on your bike after a long day and getting your body moving. I don't need to tell you all the amazing benefits that physical activity has for your body. There's plenty of studies, and if you wanna do the research, you're definitely free to. Take it from me though, getting your body moving and getting your butt on a bike gives you some amazing physical benefits. Now I'm not saying that you can just quit all your workouts altogether if that's something that's part of your life, but I am saying that adding bike commuting can kind of be just like a little side bonus in the physical department. Reason number three, emotional well-being. Personally, bike commuting has become an integral part of my mental health. There's something about the focus and concentration required, combined with the element of being outside, that really centers me and puts me in a good place. The rhythmic nature of pedaling becomes meditative and forces you to be in tune with your body. Plus, it's just plain fun! Zipping around on a bike brings out the kid in everyone and forces you to have a little fun on your daily commute. While logistically you may be using bike commuting just to get from point A to point B, you can really use it as a time for yourself to just think and chill out and just focus on the immediate present moment. Reason number four, environmental impact. All right, news flash. Every time we pump gas into our cars and drive, we also pump harmful emissions into our air. I'm not a scientist, so here's some easy to understand facts straight from the EPA. Burning fuels like gasoline releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The buildup of carbon and other gases is causing the Earth's atmosphere to warm, resulting in changes to the climate we already see today, aka intense hurricanes, floods, storms, and extreme temperatures. 
27% of the U.S. greenhouse gas emissions comes from transportation, aka lots of driving. Broken down on a personal level, smog and air pollution caused by millions of cars creates the perfect conditions for asthma and health problems for you and your loved ones. On a global level, CO2 and greenhouse gases contribute to climate change and pollution. I hope that we can all agree, wherever we come from, not trashing this planet we rely on for life is probably a pretty great idea. So bring out your inner captain planet and try bike commuting. Reason number five, the challenge. Okay, so I know for a lot of people, you're probably thinking, wait, no, challenge. I just want to go to the place I need to go. Which, yes, I understand, but there is something amazing about pushing yourself just a little bit. And while bike commuting can be all just hunky-dory fun and games, there are definitely times when it's a bit of a challenge. There's the mental and physical aspect of it, Sometimes your body is just tired, and when you push yourself just that little bit and you end up going where you need to go and overcoming something you didn't really think you were up to, you feel pretty amazing. Bike commuting can also be great for challenging you to learn new skills. Whether it's just a little bit of basic bike maintenance or maybe even winter skill handling when you're riding in the snow. Either way, the little challenges that may come up while bike commuting are well worth it and overall will make you feel pretty stinking accomplished at the end of the day. Reason number six, tune in with nature. It can be really, really, really easy to just go about our lives being kind of unaware of what's going around outside. You know, you can turn on your air conditioning when it gets hot, you can turn on your heat when it gets cold, you can go in your car when it's raining, but if you're bike commuting, you are sort of forced to deal with that reality every single day. And it's pretty amazing. Suddenly you start noticing the changes of the seasons, the wheel of the year. You can slow down time and just sort of appreciate where you are. It kind of puts a new spin on things and makes you appreciate the times that it is sunny and beautiful. (laughs) Reason number seven, feel like a badass. Yep, enough said here. Whether you have fancy gear or the world's cheapest bike, doesn't even matter. When you roll up there with your helmet, maybe a little bit of sweat, maybe a little bit of frost on your eyelashes, you kind of feel like a superhero. Give it a shot. Reason number eight, quicker commute. It's no secret that driving in traffic really sucks a lot. It's kind of terrible and I try to avoid it at all costs, hence not having a car. Anyway, that's besides the point. The point is, traffic is terrible, and traffic is a million times better on a bicycle. Ever been stuck at a light that is green with a line of cars not moving, and you see that biker just zip past you in the stinking bike lane? Well, my friend, you could be that biker zipping past. A lot of times, depending on where I'm going, I've found that going by bike is actually a lot faster than going by either car or bus during rush hour. If you're a little uncertain about doing your entire commute by bike to start out with, try a combination. A lot of city buses will have racks on the front to put bikes on, so you can kind of do your commute half and half. Instead of freaking out, pulling your hair out, and yelling at the person in front of you, put your energy towards something good, moving your legs. Rush hour is a lot more bearable when all you're focused on is moving your body on your bike through traffic. Not too bad. Reason number nine, community. Biking can be a great way to get into a new community and meet lots of really awesome people that put butts on bikes just like you. There are tons of ride meetups out there, whether they're casual or race oriented or mountain bike oriented. The bike community can be a great way to make transportation a little more personal 
and make some new friends along the way. I would recommend checking out the Minnesota Bike Coalition as well as Grease Rag and Wrench if you're Femme Trans Women Plus in the community. And Our Streets Minneapolis for awesome, awesome bike related get together open street activities. And finally, reason number 10, energy. Are you tired of waking up tired? Well, folks, for the low, low, low payment of free 99, you could wake up energized by the power of bike commuting. Okay, so that was actually the worst sales pitch known to man. But <laughs> I can tell you that if you are tired when you wake up, you will probably not be tired by the time you arrive at your workplace via bike commuting. Whatever way you travel and whatever way you bike, there's no denying that getting out there and getting rolling can really boost your mood and your energy. So those are my top 10 reasons why you should try bike commuting. I really wanna know what reason stuck out to you the most, what resonated with you, what connected, what makes you excited. And also if there's any hurdles or if there's any challenges or anxieties that you have surrounding the idea of bike commuting, let me know what they are and hopefully I will make another video addressing some of them. If you are already a bike commuter and you have things that you love about it that weren't in these top 10 reasons, tell me what they are. What are the reasons that you keep getting your butt on a bike? You keep going through it every day, rain, snow, shine. It's okay to take days off too. Bikes will always be there for you and you know when is the right time. So do please let me know if you're considering bike commuting. If you weren't already considering bike commuting, that would be my dream come true. I would be so, 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 so happy if like one person that saw this video decided, hey, maybe I'm gonna give this a shot. I will totally respond to questions if anyone does leave questions down below. Um, and share this video, please, if you, found this helpful, if you found this interesting, if you know someone that might want to do bike commuting but hasn't quite yet gotten over that initial like mental block. Personally, I love biking. I love commuting by bike. And I hope that I can help inspire some other people to maybe give it a shot that might not have already gotten their butts on a bike. So, Thank you again so much for watching. I hope something was helpful. I hope something was fun. I hope at least you enjoyed watching my dumb footage of me on a bike. <laughs> Some of the sunsets and sunrises though were primo dreamo. I make a dumb clicky sound with my mouth way too often. So welcome to Broadway Biker, the channel where I make dumb clicky sounds with my mouth. Ding. Until next time, Bike safe, get your butt on a bike, get outside, be kind to each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Whoop.